the faces of the moon. There are some points to note. The first point is the moon that seen from earth appears to change the shape every day. This is because we only see the part of the moon that reflects sun's light. The changes in different shapes of the moon are seen from earth are called the faces of the moon. Okay, the first point says that from the earth we could see the moon. But every day you can see moon is changing the shape. Right, my friends? That is because we only see the part of the moon that reflects the sun's light. Here, you have to note a point that moon does not has its own light. That's why from the sun's reflection, reflection, only the moon gets its light. That's why we are seeing the moon. Or else we cannot see the moon to the earth. Because I already said, it does not has its own light. Okay? So, the changes in the different shapes means every day it will change its shapes then it are seen from the earth it will be seen the, from the earth so that is called the faces of the moon that we are going to learn today with using the Oreo biscuit activity Okay, now let's get to the activity. So, first, the things we need are a drawing of earth, a paper plate and 8 Oreo biscuits. These are the things we need to do this activity. Okay, next we have to do is open the Oreo packet. Here I am taking two Oreo packets. You can see total biscuits we need are eight biscuits. Here I am taking two packets because in the one packet, in one packet I have only four biscuits. So I need eight biscuits so I am taking two packets of Oreo biscuits. Okay, you can take a plate or a plate and put this Oreo biscuits to it. Like that you can put all the eight biscuits. Then you should open it into two pieces has I shown here. Okay. Now open it like that into two pieces and I am saying a thing. It is better if you are a child don't use the knife to open it. You can use a spoon to open it. Like this Every 8 biscuit should be opened into 2 pieces as I shown and you have to shape it into all the faces of the moon. After shaping I will show you and I will briefly ex explain all the faces.
faces of the moon. Like this you have to shape it. The eight biscuits should be shaped. Okay, the cream part should be used. That you have to knot. Okay. The another part you can keep in the plate. Okay. Now, here I have shaped all the spaces of the moon. Now, keep the earth in the center of the paper plate. Like this, you have to put the earth in the center of the plate because the moon moon revolves around the earth. Okay? Then you can take all the faces. So the moon's face is starting from new moon. New moon means we cannot see the moon at all. You can label it at the side. So uh, for the new moon only you can use the um, no cream piece of the Oreo biscuit because it has no light. Oh I forgot to say a thing. That the screen is the sunlight that reflects because the moon has no light. So the next comes the waxing crescent. Crescent moon means a small portion of moon. So here the uh, waxing I will say what is waxing I will say in the last of this video then the next phase is half moon first quarter means we say it has half moon but it is now in the first quarter that's why we are saying half moon first quarter Half moon means able to see half part of the moon. Next come waxing gibbous. Gibbous moon means three fourth part of the moon will be seen from the earth. Next come the full moon. Full moon means the entire side facing the earth gets sunlight. We are able to see full moon. Okay. In that day you will see the full moon. Waning gibbous. Already we told about gibbous, so I'm not saying. But I will teach you what are waxing and what are waning in the last of this video. Okay. So next comes the half moon third quarter. Half moon third quarter. Half moon third quarter. Because here you can see two every things are double that why I will say in the last of this video. Next comes the burning crescent. We already talked about crescent moon so I am not saying about it but it is waning crescent. Before we said waxing crescent. 
these are the all eight phases of the moon starting from the new moon then going to the waxing crescent then half moon first quarter half moon first quarter then waxing gibbous then full moon then waning gibbous then half moon third quarter and waning crescent okay this is a continuous process after finishing waning gibbous sorry crescent then it will again come to new moon like that so here our activity is ready you can see all the eight phases of the moon now let's learn the what are waning and what are waxing so friends we have learned the eight phases of moon now let's learn what are waning and what are waxing so first let's learn what are waning before that here you can see the eight phases of the moon they they are grouped into two group one is waxing the another is waning so waning waning in the waning stage we have full moon gibbous moon half moon crescent moon and new moon okay here you can see from the full moon then the waning gibbous third quarter or half moon then waning crescent and new moon so waning means big size to small size full moon means it is the big then after that coming it to the gibbous then the three fourth of the moon will not be seen so it is little bit coming to smaller then come to the third quarter or half moon the half part of the moon cannot be seen only this white side only will be seen see here half side will not be seen then after that a little tiny bit of moon will be seen because it is crescent we already told it what is crescent then then there will be nothing because new moon understood that is the that is waning okay now i think so you understand what are waning coming to waxing in the waxing stage we have new moon crescent moon half moon gibbous and full moon here see from new moon crescent waxing crescent first quarter or half moon gibbous moon and full moon so it means small size to big size first here we can see nothing because it is new moon we already learn about all the eight phases so in if you slide it back you could find it in the activity okay so in the crescent moon a tiny bit of the moon will appear that only means the crescent moon okay then first quarter half moon or first quarter half of the moon will be seen then gibbous waxing gibbous that means 3/4 of the moon will be seen after that 
full moon. Full moon means full moon VPC. So now I will say the difference between waxing and vanning. In waxing, you can see that everything is going to the left. Left. Here you can see left, left, left. But when coming to vanning, it is all going to the right, right. Understood? That's an difference. Then the difference is means it is opposite because when in vanning it is big size to small size in the waxing it is small size to big size so friends did you understand what are vanning and what are waxing okay i think so you understand